Hi everyone, Deck Wizard here. I'm going to share with you all how to change Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's in-game frame rate on the Steam Deck to a more suitable and playable FPS. It is important to note that this method is solely for single player and by changing your FPS we will be unable to play online due to the fair play requirement that both players matchmaking must both be set to 60 FPS and if we try to use this method online the match will appropriately end. However, for offline battles and the story mode, performance on the Steam Deck can be vastly improved. So let's go to desktop mode and open a folder from our taskbar and navigate to home, making sure our view is set to the third icon for list. And in the top right, we want to click the three lines and show hidden files. From here, we want to navigate through a series of folders to get to the file we need. Home, Steam, Steam, scroll down, Steam Apps, Compact Data. And provided you're in list mode, tap modified twice. And we want to find 1790600. PFX, Drive C, Users, Steam User, App Data, Local, Sparking Zero, Saved, Config, Windows. Once you're inside the Windows folder, we need to open the engine.ini file and scroll to the very bottom of the page and right click with L2 and paste the following lines of code which I have provided in the description of this video. Once these are pasted as shown, go ahead and save this file. And before we close and fire up Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, let's understand that we can increase and decrease our FPS by changing the three values mentioned in these lines of code. If you wish to play the game online, we need to remove these lines of code from our engine.ini file and save, otherwise the game's anti-cheat will detect our FPS does not match our opponents and the match will end. Back in game, on the Steam Deck, we can comfortably play at 40 FPS with a much improved experience. And before we end the video, I want to give a special shout out and thank you to a user called Muzkal on the Steam community forums for originally sharing this method with everyone, and Steam Deck HQ for raising awareness for this method and originally posting a guide explaining the steps required. In options and graphics, I have the following settings applied in combination with our 40 FPS cap, and you can change these to how you like, but if you find any settings that are working well for you than what I have here, please share them in the comments and we can all try them out. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with others. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care of one another, and I'll see you later.